Hi. Okay, it's uh, tell the truth, I don't know what it is. That's not anything unusual. It's May 25th, 5.45 p.m. Tuesday. I've just uh, spent yesterday doing car related stuff, so I figured I'd uh, give this a try from the old war wagon here. It's going to be one of the last times I have it. I successfully transferred this to my uncle, and uh, it's, uh, it's all said and done, so I figured I'd uh, take this opportunity to um, make a video and just uh, show people around. I've had a couple of requests since um, I've been kind of offline for a few days, just chilling. Got my plane ticket. Coming home this Saturday night. Brenda's picking me up. And uh, it's raining, as you can probably see. Uh, it's been raining on and off since I got here, which is very unusual because it's May. And uh, it doesn't, it's not supposed to rain this late in the year. But it's good. I mean, it's still very colorful. And, you know, I'm sure the people out here are sick of it. But it uh, gives me a little variety. You know, I kind of, the hot and sunny stuff is just, well, warm and sunny. It gets kind of tiring after a while. But it's certainly good for the, you know, the water table, and they've had drought for years, so this is pretty wild. Uh, and I'm looking up there right now, and there's like uh, just sheets of it above that pinkish bush there. I don't know if you can see, just a bunch of rain and fog and stuff blowing by. Yeah, you can see that it's coming up off of the valley. So I think what I'm gonna do, as I said, this is gonna be one of the last times I sit in this car. So here I am. <laughs> We're up to now 250,000 and some change, 82 miles. Um, transferred this to Andrew and John. Uh, it's in John's name, but uh, you know at least they have another another car to drive around. I'm going to make a walk around the property. It's probably going to take a little while, so um, if you don't want to see a five-minute video, just uh, skip this part. But I uh, figured I'd show everybody where I am. In case you haven't been here or you haven't seen this before, so here's the good old Honda. <laughs> now has California plates. Still has an asshole sticker on it. Much character as ever. Little rust spots here and there. Little white door. Guy was very impressed and a little bit flabbergasted when the, uh, you know, the guy, uh, the guy who did the the smog inspection. Uh, he just wasn't expecting it. Anyway. This is the approach up to the house here. You can see some solar panels down there. I'm going to kind of take a roundabout route. So, again, a lot of my friends have been here, family, but uh, for those who haven't, oh, haven't been up there in a while. That actually, that little building there is a casita that covers a pump house um, for the well. Let's see if I'm going to try and keep this lens from getting too wet, too. Up here somewhere, like right up yonder, I think. Um, is the redwood trees that give the uh, the vineyard here its name, Redwood Springs. I'm going to try and keep this rain off of the lens. So anyhow, let's see here. I think we got another little squall of rain coming through here. This is the front gate. And uh, I'm actually going to take a detour and take a trip up over the uh, the upper orchard. It would help if I unlatch wouldn't it? Believe it or not, all the years I've been coming out here, I've never gone, let me see, I've got to relock this, never gone into the upper orchard. I just never had occasion to. Or the upper, uh, I'm sorry, the upper vineyard. Ah, come on. There we go. Okay. Well, it is quite, it's very nice though. These, I think, are also Pinot grapes. And, uh, the sheep tend to get out here and uh, nibble on them. So that's why I came up here is because I saw a couple of sheep and uh, they didn't belong. So anyhow, this is an overview of the house. You can hear frogs if I shut up for a minute here. The frogs are actually in the pool from what I understand. When it's not being used for swimming, they uh, they open up one end of it. We're not sure why it's uncovered. Andrew noticed that a little earlier. But they open up one end and <laughs> let them breed in there, and they do their thing, and then they're gone, and then it's the people's turn. You can see the little hot tub at the end there. That's a nice touch. We've been meaning to uh, 
get that thing fired up the whole time I've been here and we just not keep not getting around to it. Okay, that there's the door to the laundry room. This at the end, this is uh, Annie's apartment, which was originally constructed as kind of an in-law apartment for Nancy's mom, who lived there for a few years before passing away. And uh, I think a couple other people were in there from time to time, but here we go. Tiny little Pinot grapes, Pinot Noir grapes. Look at the fog, look at that fog there. That is just, <laughs> I'll never get over that. It's just beautiful. Okay, I'm going to try and come down here without killing myself. There's about a 20-foot drop to the bottom of this, this ditch around the wall here. The wall itself is embedded with, um, with piping that contains uh, water. It circulates through and uh, heats that pool, if I recall correctly. It's southward facing, so... And you see that thing floating in the pool there. I don't know if you can get a decent view of it, but that big snaky thing there in the near end is uh, basically a hose with a motor in it that floats. And it, uh, its job is one end dangles in the pool and sucks up cold water from the bottom and uh, gets a little convection going. There's the nice little, the, uh, the lilies for Lillian's room when she lived here. Still there, the, the, the flowers are, that is. And a couple of the nice little flower gardens that uh, Nancy and Timo and everybody have put together. I'm going to take a little walk down beyond. This brown box in process, this is Annie's actual bedroom. So this is her garden and she stays in the little area on the right there and the area to the left is the, the master bedroom of the main house. And then this is this little casita that they put together for Annie, which is just beautiful. I would love to have something like this. There is kind of one design flaw. The fact that the toilet is right here and the door opens the wrong way. But nobody's criticizing. We just put that shade up the other night, but look at this. I mean, the way these windows are oriented, you can't even see a building from here. So you just wake up in the morning and there's all this. You've got the, the vineyards. Okay, good. My lens isn't fogged up too much. you got the vineyards. You've got some some conifers there. You've got this. This is to keep the light from coming in because it's really bright. But the gardens, it's just just gorgeous. Just a nice little place to sleep. You know, that's all it is. A little bedroom, half bath, toilet and a sink. Clunk. So, more gardens. That's uh. Okay, we saw that. I'm gonna go down this way. Like I said, this is gonna be kind of a long video. I might end up doing an outside video and an inside video, I don't know. Depends on if my batteries last and whatever. Ah! Hold my hand over here. More fog coming across. And I'm going to wander over here and allegedly there should be sheep. If there's no sheep, that's a problem. House. I see some sheep. These are Marco and Polo, or Dumb and Dumber, depending on who, whom you listen to. I, I'm not sure how to tell them apart. There is a way. But uh, I'm going to go through this tall grass and get completely soaked. Because as I said, it is still raining. Hey guys, I don't have anything for you. Do you think sheep shrink when they get wet? You know, like... You know, if you're wearing wool and you go out, and it, so you think they're like wandering around trying to hide under a tree going, oh man, I hate it when this happens, all bunged up, I don't know. So here they are, they're looking rather suspicious. I'm also standing right in an electric fence here, so I better not, uh, <laughs> I better be careful because I'm standing really close to it. Anyhow, hi guys, sorry you don't have any trees. All right. This, what we're looking at here, is the lower, the main vineyard. Also, Pinot, Pinot grapes. Oy, my legs are soaked. I'm going to kind of circle around the bottom and uh, try and come up, and then we'll do the inside of the house. As I said, maybe I'll do it all at once, but this is an actual sort of, sort of road, sort of a driveway thing we got here. But just look at that. <laughs> 
So, in case you hadn't heard, we do uh, winemaking here. This is also known, this property has recently become known as Fogcatcher Farm. And if you look up at the house, right from here, you get a really good idea why it's called that. It's just, it's just so foggy. It's uh, not normally like that, obviously, but, and these here are olive trees, which recently began blooming. Um, John actually thought that when they had bought them, they may be an ornamental species that aren't supposed to fruit because they just hadn't, they hadn't done anything. And, uh, okay, I, I seem to have come to a dead end. <laughs> <laughs> I never come down in this, in this corner. But, um, yeah, then they actually started to blossom and uh, remains to be seen if they're actually going to produce. You can see some, some of the big old firs and the redwoods out there, Douglas firs and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to head around the bottom of the house right now, going up the road here. This so-called road, this is just really for access to the... Oh, it's a big hill. Access to the vineyards. And the sheep. Huh. Yes, I'm out of shape too. I haven't uh, haven't gotten nearly as much exercise as I wanted to on this trip, but that's okay. It's been relaxing. I'm on vacation, right? So here's the house again, yet again. We're almost done, at least with the outside. Uh, that that's a gopher hole. We have a lot of gophers and moles around here. The uh, dogs, um, barley in particular, <laughs> thinks they're absolutely fascinating. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say I'd done it again. That's the second dead end I encountered. Here we got blackberries. Lots and lots of blackberries. What am I up to? 12 minutes here? Lily's the Valley. <laughs> yeah, I did it again. Lots of uh, random bushes that I'm not sure what they are. If I weren't talking so much, you could probably hear there's a whole shit ton of quail in here, too. One of them flew off with his little hat right in front of me. It looked ridiculous. Okay, here we are. And yes, what you see there is a garage. Look at that, there's a bird sitting right on the chimney. <laughs> You'll see fireplaces and chimneys all over the place. There's one there in the dining room. There's one... The one, the one in the foreground is the outdoor fireplace. The one behind it there, on the left, is the one in the living room. I think that's it. I don't think John and Nancy have one in their room. That'd be really cool, though. Uh, I almost tripped over a hose. Okay, here we go. This is kind of what I was getting at. <sighs> so. Now this here is the, uh, actually goes out to uh, where you park, but that's open. I guess Gonzalo left that open when he went out. He's the uh, hired help here. This is one of my favorite places of the outdoors here in the house, at the house, because nobody goes here. But how cool would this be if you were a kid growing up? Like get a tire swing on this big boy? Something like that, you know, it's completely enclosed. You just see a little bit of access to the grass over there, and there's not really much down there. And there's a little bench under the tree, and there's actually stairs up and back down again to the far side. So, oh, and this is a side garden here that takes us up to the dining room. And uh, well, I guess we'll go in here if it's unlocked, which it isn't. That's okay. So you can see the dining room there. Don't worry, there are other doors. <laughs> Plenty of them. It's a little, nice little garden as you first come in. And this again is the front door. Now we're on the other side of that gate that I first saw as we came up. And I do believe my cousin and his girlfriend have arrived. I'm gonna go say hello. John and Nancy right now are actually at a dinner with President Obama in San Francisco. And no, I'm not making that up. It just happens. Hi. Hello. I'm bored. I'm filming the house. Oh, you want horchata? Yeah, I want horchata. You got to have no ice, so when you get watery, but you got to put some in. 
I told you, man, you're my favorite cousin. Here. <laughs> can you can you can you peel that for me? I got one hand. I got you. I wonder what would happen if you made a chata an alcoholic beverage. It's a good idea. What would you put? Rum? Like like spiced rum. Really good. Captain Ooh, Morgan. You put some of that special reserve in there. See how it tastes. Oh for 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 It might ruin it. Oh shit. Okay, I'll be in in a minute. Don't do anything incriminating because this is still running. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like if if I walk in and there's like naked people and midgets, you know, and maybe an ox, maybe I won't post this one. Tell the pixie people to go home, right? Oh. Oh, this is so good. Archada. If anybody hasn't had this, anybody from back east in particular, it's basically rice milk. Um, should, should be on ice, but he didn't put any ice in it. But it's like rice milk with cinnamon. And uh, I don't know. I think it's like a vanilla, almost like a vanilla chai kind of flavor. This is the one other thing outside that I didn't get to. This is that road that goes down below that I was just on. But these here are solar panels. And you also see a very young vineyard, it's only a couple of years old, with, um, uh, oh, I can't think of the name of it, uh, Sauvignon Blanc grapes. And there's a little casita. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to come in out of the rain, and we're going to do a little bit of inside stuff here. But, yeah, this stuff is super good. This is like a great dessert drink. If you can ever find an horchata, then grab one. They got this, I think, from Ochoa's, which is this... Um, Mexican and Spanish place down in Sebastopol, Sebtown. Oh, this used to be a fuzzy caterpillar. He's been there for a couple of days, so I don't think he's going anywhere. That's too bad. Anyway, I saw a snail in here too. A lot of snails and lizards. Uh, I did another one of those. Zen videos with the snail crawling across. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's a bone. For the dog. I haven't seen any dogs. Got up this morning, there was two very, very wet, unhappy looking dogs. Now, nah, just uh, shits and giggles. Here's a, you know, a little patio area. I saw this from above. The pool. The side of the house. And a very appealing little um, bird of paradise, these are called. Beautiful, beautiful flowers, and uh, some horse tails it looks like, and a giant, humongous rosemary bush. I didn't even know they were bushes, but apparently here they are. So, going to uh, the omnipresent basket of fruit. Here we are. Mmm. Good shit. Right. I don't suppose you have a Q-tip or a tissue or anything on you. I gotta. I get Q-tips in my. I gotta go get some toilet paper. I gotta clean this lens because it's soaked. Right. Here we go. Little music room. Piano. Barley. <laughs> Barley, bad dog. <laughs> What the fuck was that? What in the blue hell was that? Okay, and there's Lily. Alpha store plus horchata. What? Alpha store plus horchata. You went where in the blood plus horchata? I said that was Alpha store plus horchata. Alpha store. What's Alpha store? Oh, good shit. Yeah, okay. I see. There's a Christmas tree since it's uh, May 25th. Yeah. <laughs> Good shit. Are you following me? Okay. Uh, all right. I am going to put this one up, although it's going to be like 20 minutes long, so I don't think anybody's going to host it. But No, I'm not videoing myself in the bathroom. Although I'm going to show this shower because this is really cool. Two heads. And just be creative because that's... All I can say. It's really good stuff. Everything's better when you high. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. So this is me cleaning the freaking lens because it's wet. I think that's okay. Alrighty. No, I found a piece of toilet paper though. That'll do nicely. 
Oh, there's that old guy in the mirror again. Oh my God, 20 minutes and two seconds. Hey, where's the key to Annie's room? I went over there and... It's open. It wasn't. I know, sorry. I had to what? Go. You, wait, wait, you just said it was open, then you're like, no. No, it is now. Oh, it is, okay. I, just went over there. I don't care. I was going to go over there anyway just to check for anything incriminating, so I probably won't go in there. <laughs> but hey. I'll say hi to Bob. Bob is the greatest fish of all time. Is this technically a goldfish or what? Yeah. Bob eats people. I got him a, I got you got him in one of those little plastic bags, right? I got him in one of those like throw a like throw at the ping pong in a fish tank and run a fish tank. Oh yeah? yeah. Wait, like Sonoma County Fair? Uh, Apple Blossom Fair. Oh cool. Uh, so this is Bob as labeled, and uh, it's, he's also Everlast because I guess he's got numerous brushes with death to his credit. But uh, here he is, still, still swimming away, Bob and the Orchata. Right now, the thing is steaming up on me. I think that's just Need more carbs. Good shit. Oh, I put the milk and the meat away. Anything that was gonna rot. Seeing as how that salmon there has been there for like two days, I, I I asked why they don't put it away. He's like, oh, who's gonna? What's gonna happen to it? Well, okay, biology. Do we have any, exper any science experiments in the fridge that I can film? Yeah. I think or do we throw them away? Oh, what fun is that? Art. Lots of art. Speaking of which, Flossie. Anybody hasn't met Flossie? Flossie is a late 19th century prostitute drawn by, uh, painted by Frank von Slaun. Just, just incredible, imposing. Here's the good old... Uh, Dictionary. It's not the OED, but it is. Uh, you, know, you gotta have a, an unabridged dictionary by the by the table. We always have din dinner by candlelight, usually when it gets dark, which is why there's like 20 candles here. And this is Lily, the perennial favorite, who is something like 15 years old now. Pretty much exactly 15. Wow. That is. What's for dinner, guys? Like, are you cooking, or are we waiting for the? The so-called adults. We're, we're fuck, fuck them. Was that? <laughs> we're cooking, but um, we're gonna eat a little later since we had a bigger. Yeah, you ate. I ate. We all ate. My screen um, is totally fogged up. I got steak and I got some red onions. I'm gonna caramelize, put it all on pasta. That's very cool. And uh, she's gonna make some green beans, and I got corn I'm gonna make. That sounds awesome. Should be a good hearty dinner. Nice. And good shit. Afterwards. Oh, the cookies. Yeah. Um, Here's the death-defying staircase to the garage slash basement slash winery uh, alchemy area with this just, I love this window. Anyway, the greeters and uh, the follower. It's going to be sad for me to leave this place. But, you know, it's always, it always is. I've been here for a month. And, uh, well, I've been here, here, here for a couple of weeks. But, you know, it's just, uh, it's always time to move on. It always comes to that. This is the room I've been staying in. It used to be Annie's room when she was little. And here's Chemo. Say hi, Chemo. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'll be back and give you some pets later, okay? Go back to sleep. Almost done. Here's the fireplace in the solarium. Very dark, as you can see. No need to have any any lights on you know, in the middle of the day. Nobody's home but me. Great picture of Saturn. Great picture of the Earth. And um, I actually kind of like it when it's dark. It's got its own separate kind of beauty. Huh? There's Andrew's room, very small, but perfectly functional. There's the bathroom again, and the master bedroom suite. This painting here is actually covering, and this desk is actually covering the door to the in-law apartment where Annie stays. And there's, as you can see, the little casita that I was in earlier. This is the door to the garden. And uh, last but not least, you know, coming through here, there's the master bedroom. It's got its own nice little bath. Mirror, separate set of mirrors. Big, big closet you can't see because it's really dark. And just lots of windows with some nice little cacti outside and that sort of thing. 
and some big trees and a whole bunch of fog. You can't even really see down into the valley, it's so foggy today. But, alrighty. So that's it for the main house. I'm going to come out here to the other end of the pool area. Hear those frogs again. This actually looks really inviting. <laughs> I don't think I'm going in, but... Just something very peaceful about the rain on the water like that, you know. Ah, it is open. There is the key. I almost slipped and broke my ass. Okay. And this is it. Just a small little kitchen to which I can never find the light switch. There, okay. Cute! It's good for one person. Full size bathroom. Beautiful big tub. Possibly with a body in it. Uh, all the fixings. All my 10,000 cans of orange soda that I brought. <laughs> Out of everything I brought, that's going to be the only thing left. But, um... And here we are. And here we go. And, uh, good. He cleared most of the bad stuff off of the table. Uh, fantastic hat. Beautiful hat. And, uh, bibliophiles and biblioclasts. There's the very pretty lilies out there. And, uh, dog bed for the older lily. And that's pretty much all. This is the quiet end. Except for when they have the rap music blaring, which is quite frequently. But you know what? It's okay. Oh, I guess I should show you. Here's the other side of that door. This used to go all the way through. That there is the door. Yeah, you can just barely see it being a door underneath the desk. It used to go all the way through to the front hallway and out the front door, but... Uh, they're pretty much blocked off. You could still open it, but there's all pictures of Shea Wovera there and stuff. So, that's it. I'm going to um, move on here once I figure out the stupid light switches again. And I'm going to upload this and I'm going to blow up Photo Bucket because it's way too big, but hey. Eh, okay. <laughs> so that's it. I'll see you later.